Where do Kyrie and Luca fit in amongst the best backcourts of recent times? Fellas, we've got a tier list here in front of us. Everyone can see it at home. Mm-hmm. We've got a few backcourts here, obviously. So we've got CP3, James Harden, uh, Dame and CJ, Brad Beal and John Wall. Remember that one? Yeah, that takes pace. me back. Pace, 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 pace. The recent CP3 and Devin Booker, Stephen Clay, Tony Parker and Manu Ginobili. For the old heads, and then at the end, we'll see where Kyrie and Luca fit in. Mm-hmm. Why have we been brought to this? Stan Van Gundy on the TNT broadcast at the conference finals has been throwing out this is the best offensive backcourt of all time. We're not doing all time because we haven't watched all, all time. time. <laughs> we haven't watched the 60s, 50s, all, all that sort of stuff. And also, backcourts weren't hot. Um, abundant mm-hmm. over the years. It was more so your big boys over the earlier years. All the one-two punch. It could have got out. It, it could have started with Kobe, Chris Paul, but mm. bow, 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 <laughs> bow, bow, NBA didn't allow and then, it. And then all the sort of like guards, all the best guards in the earlier years. Most of the time, they were sort of like singular, mm. like MJ. Yep. Not to say they didn't have good players around them, but we didn't start to get like real like a flow of duos um, until the modern era. But we do have Manu and Tony Parker, which will be an interesting one to try and go. All right. So simple tiers, S-A-B-C. And we're starting off with Houston, James Harden and CP3 Rise. Oh, I really like this backcourt. Mm. I really did like it. <laughs> they almost beat the best team ever. They took Chris Paul's groin. Chris did he Paul's- do his groin? No, no, he's hamstring. He's hamstring. 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 And then... And they missed the 27 threes. Yeah. In a row. That's crazy. <laughs> but the consistency of Mr. 27, 27 threes in a row, you know, having that badge, mm. <laughs> not being as per this recent, um, uh, having that same clutch characteristic of, of our recent times. Yeah. Um, Dallas uh, duo. I've, I've got them in, uh, personally, I think I've got them in, a, yep. just because their history is done mm. um, and it's easier to judge. But in the moment, it was S. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. They in nearly the, done it. Yeah, they nearly yep. beat the Warriors. Yeah. They took them to seven and then whichever year, I think it was that year, then the Warriors beat the Cavs 4-1. That was the finals, Warriors-Rockets. Yeah. It was the Warriors versus LeBron every year, but it was Warriors-Rockets for a couple of years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm happy with A to start off with. Yeah, that's a pretty good. This is one of the best so. duos of all time. It was very your turn, my turn. Yeah. As are some of these, a lot of these, to be honest. Uh-huh. These are all bowl dominant players, but they really high caliber. Would you want to comment any more, Roz? Um, no, nah, look, I'm happy with A. If, look, if they definitely won that ring, they'd be way above. Oh, yes. it would be solid S, um, man. That's the only thing holding them back, but they were super elite yep. during their time together. Yeah. All right, Damon CJ. I feel like everyone that we're looking at was real good. <laughs> yeah, Damon CJ was so what a, like what a story. Made a conference finals as well. Damon CJ, Cheech. Um, I don't have much to comment on, <laughs> just because. Is it the stain in my mouth of the overall team? Mm. I'm not too sure. Like those two as a duo, I felt like maybe they're a regular season team or a clip kind of baity team. Um, Dame is Hall of Fame. Um, CJ, not as much. But they just missed a couple of gears from my perspective. Yeah. Rise, what do you reckon? Um, they de- Definitely one of the duos that come to your mind when you think of duos. Um, just because they played together for so long. They're probably the longest duos to play together yeah. uh, on this list um, besides Steph and Chloe we got there. Um, I, I think... Probably put him either B or C. It's it's very hard to... Uh, where, where do you have them, Nath? Well, where do you have um, them? with... With what we've got, it seems mean. As I said, everyone looks good. But with what we've got coming up, I think that I'm feeling C. Yeah, I'm feeling C. I, I feel like there's there's a gap between them and the Rockets duo. They never really 
scared me. Mm. As I said, like they were gatekeeper, they were missing a few team like gears, but you know, first round is it typically, or you know, um, second round. But it wasn't like they were elite. Yeah. Um, and even when they were, so they made that conference finals, um, and the Warriors and KD was injured. So the Warriors, who had less role players, and KD was out, they swept them in the conference finals. Oh, that's a good point. So it was a bit like they weren't really a conference finals level. Everything was going right. We had a good few years of everything going everything going right, and it still was nothing. Nah, it still came to nothing, really. Um, and even, so even Dame, I really wish he had a better year this year, but even his sort of legacy, I reckon it's... It's floating in the air. It is <laughs> it's floating in the air in general of like as big of games as he's had and as good as he's looked, we're still waiting for that front, that final frontier to be reached. Mm. And it definitely wasn't reached with this duo. See? Let's put him in C. C. There's just so much talent in the NBA that it's, it gets yeah. difficult to compare. Now... So I'm feeling similar sort of feelings about John Wall, Bradley Beal was definitely not at Beal's absolute peak, but what even was Bradley Beal's peak these days? Um, John Wall, Bradley Beal, Cheech, what are we feeling? Um, I've got them at C mm. uh, because it was on the Eastern Conference side of things. So they were weak on the West, yeah, weaker conference. And then as well, you typically they typically got swept. I'm pretty sure it was mainly 4-1 mm. with the LeBron situation. Um, but just because of the, the weaker East and really weren't able to make a dent in that league, um, they tried the FIFA strategy or the FIFA soccer strategy of uh, pace, um, but that didn't really eventuate. Uh, individually, I think they have more talent than what um, Dame and CJ have. Yeah. Um, but it just didn't didn't come together. What do you reckon, Rise? Um, these two, I think, s- super fun to watch, super fast, electrifying. So was, they were enjoyable duo to watch, but they just you're right. They couldn't make it too far into the East. Um, I'd put them in C. Yeah, I think I'm with you. It's hard. It's hard to be mean, but I've got to be real with what's coming up. We got these massive juggernauts coming up. Um, the juggernauts. Yeah. The juggernauts. The juggernauts. I like that coming up. Ryan's word, pattern pending. Yeah, I'm happy to go and see. Put him yeah. and see. And the reason why I r- last second was like, you know what? Definitely see because I think the way things are all shaking out, this Devon Booker CP3 duo is definitely B. The way we've got it set out. Yeah. I reckon this is <clears> this this these two and the level they were both at at the time, the level, the really great level. But Booker wasn't even at the at his best yet. CP3 had just a tiny bit of started to decline. I think that they're not necessarily near Harden and CP3 on the Rockets at all. Um, but they, I think they are a step above Dame, CJ, and Wall and Beal. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd agree. <clears throat> I'd agree on that. I mean, they made the NBA Finals. This yep. team, yeah, they were nearly there. They, they were and they're right up. There. Yeah, yep. they were up two uh, one, I think. Arguably, Devin Booker was probably having his one of the best seasons mm. he's had, MVP season. Oh yeah, during that period. Um, and CP three just he just manages well, gets he, in the team for a couple of years and just brings them all the way up from the bottom to the top. Yeah, that was three years together. I think so, something like that. Yeah, but two or three. for me, it was like two two really good years mm. together. The third year was mainly injury kind of thing yep. and also departing or right. getting traded. Yeah, um, all the above. Yep, so yeah, the the conference final, that was a legit conference final. like Final, um, NBA finals. Yeah, NBA finals. Um, and it came down to the last play. Well, cent- like, you know, the whole Drew mm. Holiday. Yeah, Drew Holiday, yeah. The that's steel. where it all turned. Yeah, yeah, that's where it all turned. So... They were even closer than James Harden and CP3, but yeah, that's right. I just feel like uh, the talent. But James, of James Harden, Harden, James Harden, CP3 played the best team ever. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. The that's the difference. difference. And so, is it worthy of putting him in A? 
I think it might be B. Just let, let's be cutthroat here. I think it's B. Yeah, let's be cutthroat. I think I think a lot of people. I I try and do, uh, make sure everyone remembers James Harden for all his crap at that time, man. Oh, James Harden was one of the best players ever. <laughs> he really was. was yeah. I was cooking Crazy. everyone. He was a freak. Like he's like yeah, that Lu- like what Luca is now. Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. Crazy That's man. It. So. That and even CP3 was better as well than he was here. Only a little bit better, but come on, they're they're not <laughs> with them, but they are better than these two. I felt so helpless with uh, James Harden. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was unreal. He was so yeah. Either get driven on and then he'll he'll create the foul. Yeah, he'll create the or the M one, whatever. Yeah. Or if you don't want him to drive, he's gonna get a step back on <sighs> you because you're trying to defend the paint. So yeah. you can't win. You can't win. And that's Luca now. That yeah, it's Luca now. Yeah, that's right. That's um yeah it's it's almost identical in the lobs. Yep. Yep. And they've they've got that frame where James Hunter had that frame where it's that bulky like fit, but strong. Mm. And you can't you know. wrap around him. You can't go around him easy. Yep. And he's got the euro. He had the euro. Mm. He create. He he really let the world know about the euro. Yep. So I think that- um the difference is Luke has got more of a he can wait just a tad bit longer mm. to draw in the. Whereas Harden was more like automatic. Yeah. Like he's either going it's for that definitely log quicker. immediately. Definitely yeah, quicker. quicker. Yeah. yeah. Where Luca just holds it a bit more, then mm. makes that that pass. And Harden used to play above the rim a bit. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. You know, he you used to see him blow by his defender and, and dunk it. So mm. it was um yeah, he was tough. Unreal. It was tough. All right. Now these three duos all in sort of white or grey jerseys. We're up to the the real big boys here. Mm-hmm. Now, Steph and Clay. Yes. S. You have to. Got to be S. <laughs> it's won, not even out of all question. these people. It's got to be S. They've, Currently, they've won that we've four, chosen. four rings together. Yep. 2015, 2017, yep. 2018, 2022. And <clears throat> they've both had three-point wins. Three-point, you know, the three-point championship, whatever you, we want to call it. 67% win rate overall in the playoffs. Mm. Yeah. So, decent. You just can't question it. They, you know, and then b- they won a championship before KD. They won a championship after KD. Yeah. Um, and there's one thing, doing it together. So Stephen Curry's 2009, Clay 2011, like starting from nothing, starting from the bottom, mm, now we're here. Yeah. That, I don't know if there even needs to be a tier above S, but <laughs> on the highest, you know, respect. Whereas these, like in today's era... You know, you can kind of collab anyhow. Yeah. You know, just, hey, I just want to join forces. I know that few, most of them have not worked, but um, you have to give it props. It's a homegrown talent kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And with these duos, when you got two backcourt duos that are elite at shooting, not only just playmaking, but shooting, it's so hard to guard two guards that are elite at shooting from the perimeter. Yeah. Like, you almost you, – you can't double them because – one of the other guards is going to be left open for the for the throw or whatever it is, um, and it just makes it even more difficult for the perimeter defense to try and tie these guys up. And the the innovating, the revolutionising of the relocating, the Stephen Curry and the oh, Clay yeah. Thompson, the the moving screens and the relocating and the scrambling, it's just you got you just can't you yeah. can't do anything with them. Um, but yeah. So quickly, S. As now, much as I pray for Clay's downfall, I, just, <laughs> I have to well, give him respect. Well, he's definitely played his last game in a Warriors. Not been a Lakers uniform. <laughs> Tell you that. Or Philly. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen the memes of. Uh, oh, Philly you, better not. They better not. Yeah, you he, just him and PG. I wanted an old, older Tobias Harris, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, fair nah, and Lakers. Nah, because he wants. He. I don't know what he's gonna do, but he wants money. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? So none of the like Lakers can't afford to bring in someone who wants a lot of money. Must be getting taxed, huh? Mm. <laughs> All right, now on to maybe the trickiest one before we get to Kyrie and Luca, Manu and Tony Parker. Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker won four rings together as well. Very spread out over the years. Popovich, Tim Duncan, Kawhi Leonard. A whole bunch of other variables here, mm. but these two players are two of the greatest. What are we feeling, Cheech? It's an interesting one because you could add Tim Duncan in here, whereas the others. Well, I guess with the with the S tier, you got Draymond Green in there as well. Yeah, like the three, 
you know. But I feel like uh, Tim Duncan was leading and scoring sometimes. So it's an interesting one how we put this one in this list. But the the combo in the fourth quarter of these guys was you can't stop Manu Ginobili. Defensively, attacking, mm. um, you know, what Tony Parker was like, you know, just holding down the fort playing that CP3 kind of role. Mm. Uh, but then Ginobili was just all fire, all speed. Um, the Euro step, the flash, um, really kept the uh, defense guessing. So um, I- I'm putting them in... <sighs> <laughs> because of the help of Tim Duncan, because I feel like Tim Duncan really, really just made them another level. Oh, he's one of the best in his position. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. so. like... like <clears throat> I don't know if I want to, but then you could argue with Clay and Steph, like um, you have uh, KD there. Mm. Yeah. So maybe I'm overthinking it because it's been such a long time. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, but that fourth quarter, uh, sort of similar to Stephen Curry's third quarter. <laughs> um, let me just put it in an S because they've won championships together. Let's uh, let's be consistent. When you win championships together, being together for a while. Um, I think it's an S tier kind of thing. What do you think, Nathan? <laughs> what do you, I want to hear? I want to hear what you think. Oh, I know. Whatever. Oh, damn! This is so hard. I don't think that can be an S. You I don't th- think? Tim Duncan is like. I mean, I haven't done my rankings, but Tim Duncan's one of the best players ever, mm. right? Popovich is the greatest coach ever. Yeah, but you could argue. And these two were. M- Two of the four massive pieces in the puzzle. And then you sort of add Kawhi for the last one there. Mm. Um, as well as other factors like, um, anyway, other players. But, like, see, I, yeah, I don't go too deep into the accomplishment stuff. I'm more like, who, who am I signing? If it's, I've got a bare sheet. Mm. Who am I signing first out of these duos, out of these backcourts? And in terms of carrying the load, it's got to be said that they weren't carrying as much of a load as like essentially like Steph and Clay, especially Steph. And even Harden and CP3. They like they were Harden CP3, everyone just get out of the way. Yep. Like spread out, be shooters for us. <laughs> Harden also has his flaws. CP3 has his flaws. I don't want to be disrespectful, but (laughs) you take out, in this exact equation, you take out Tim Duncan, you take out Popovich and all the Spurs, and these two guys are two of the greatest guards ever, but they're also, they also just worked so perfectly in that system. Mm. And that's where I guess it can be a bit blindsided by um if they were on another team they could have had they could have even popped off even more yeah because they were so team oh they could have popped off individually yeah individually even more Mm. because they were so team like it was such a well-oiled machine by pop they they just calmed down and you know just parker was focusing on assist maneuver uh was just that you know scoring off the uh the bench and providing that defensive tenacity I don't know, Rise. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, right. It's a tough one. I'm in a hard position, fellas. Because, um, <laughs> like you said, they they had the built team. It's almost like you know your your Celtics. They, yeah, the Celtics now. Yeah, they're built. Mm. They're, every position is 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 filled with proper roles, mm. um, and it obviously helps immensely to these two guards and uh, accomplishing what they have. The championships makes me want to put him in S. The face value and just signing on the spot wants me wants to put him in A. Um, <laughs> I, you know, this is this is so tough because we're winding back time a bit. It's it, it does make it a little bit more difficult in terms of comparing and <sighs> where are we going to put him. I don't know. I, I in, oh, it, there's in in. The NBA world, mm. there's a lot of usual, I find, there's a lot of conversation in every sport. Com- the conversation, but especially in the NBA world, I find there's a lot of talk about 
ranking players because of their rings and stuff like that. Obviously, to win a ring, you have to have been great. I get that. I'm not saying the rings mean nothing. But what we do here on these shows is we we pull these things apart mm. and we, we dive into things a bit more intricate than that, if that's the word. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like if, uh, let's say it happens, which I hope it doesn't, Let's say the Celtics win three ranks with Drew Holiday and Derek Wright. Mm. Are they a duo? Right. Is that how we look at it? And they could. It's, I was thinking, do we do we they, put them in? Like, because they're just so good, but they or like, it just doesn't seem just, like the right duo. Let's just say they won three rings and let's just say no one aged from now. Yep. And say we did forwards, right? Like, do you put Porzingis and Al Horford? You know what no, I mean? you can't. No, no, As no. two of the best whatevers? It's... So... I don't know, man. I but don't he, know. But Ginobili's the sixth man of the year. Parker Bro, these was, are these Parker are was two probably, of the best ever. You know, uh, leading in us, well, leading in. But if you sent them thereabout. over to Detroit right now, you sent any of these pair uh, backcourts to Detroit right now and said, "Get your two guards out the way, <laughs> Kate, Kate <laughs> okay. and Jade and Ivy, get out. We're sending Stephen Clay, or we're sending <laughs> Rockets Hard and CP3. What blah, 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 blah. Who are you sending first? I know that might not be a, a great clean slate mm, example mm, because mm. whatever, but you sort of know what I'm saying. You're starting a team. Are you picking Manu and Tony Parker even over Harden and CP3? All right, all right, all right. It makes it – we put them in A. You know, it doesn't help that they came – they're the kind of the oldest in this list. Hmm. But we put them in A based on <laughs> – your conversations. What are you thinking? Put him in A. Put him in A. a. You gotta get uh, flamed. You, uh, you can get this clipped if you want. <laughs> if you're watching this, let us know where you, you would can get uh, this clipped. I would even make a case for B. No. But I'm happy to get flamed for that. And I'm happy to you might get the most comments ever after that. <laughs> because I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, the Spurs, the Spurs, the Spurs. But you see what I'm saying, bro. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? I, I do, I you do, I do. You see what I do, I'm I do, saying? I do, I do. Like, I do. Ginobili is nowhere near the shooter that Clay was, for example. And Parker, while he did so much CP3, more... CP3, though, is basically a CP3 equivalent. Yeah, but the point guard, as well as the adaptable threes that he was taking it in Houston. The hat. Yeah. Shake you know what I mean? Boat. Like, these two guys, for mm. example, as I kept saying... They were everything on that Rockets team. Mm-hmm. I, bl- I do believe that. Tucker, yes. Mbamute, Capella. Trevor Green. Trevor Reza. Gr- they great. Keep ro- spilling it. Trevor Reza. Great role players, but they were the nucleus. The usage of those two guys is insane. Yeah. Um, it's not the same with the Spurs. Yeah. These guys were two cogs in the machine. Ginobili, Gen- once upon a time, used to be six man. Yeah, and there's that as well. He did come off. But yes, it's it's. I didn't know you're cooking up violence. We, we might need a wind back time and, and watch, watch some series. <laughs> used, I'm used to getting killed for that. <laughs> you see, hey, if, hey, if you hey. listen to the whole podcast, he's got to hear what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I get you. They've I only heard you. the clip. Don't worry. Yeah, they're they're gonna. I'm gonna get killed. Whatever. Good for the views. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of logic, huh? Oh, All right, hey, hey, hey. Let's respect them. Hey. <laughs> Oh, you want to put him? You want to put it in C? I don't know. Too. I don't. I don't know where I want to put him. No, put no, him in A. Keep a. him in A. Let's leave him in A. We're all a. a bit scared of the comments, so we'll keep him in A. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now the big question here. Thank you to Stan Van Gundy. Um, where does Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving already fit in? It's crazy. Already, fit already, in as already. In, as of it's today, it's crazy. It's crazy. Whoa. As of today, we're uh, three. game three. Game yeah. three. So we haven't. We don't know if like lively will be the swing. He's yeah. He's out tomorrow for game oh, four. Out confirmed. Yeah, he's out. We don't know. But Maxi Kleber might be in. We don't. Uh, he played. I no, forgot he's, he's even he, on the roster. This he's guy. been out. But yeah, imagine when it's he's too back small. In. Imagine and, the, and he can't play defense. But even so, imagine when he's back in. Yeah, he can shoot the throw. Remember all their role players they got. Mavs. Mavs came back in the fourth. To yeah. Murder. Yeah. Gaffin's Mavs still, come back Gaffin's in the still. fourth against everyone to murder. <coughs> All right, so it's 3-0. The Celtics have gone to the finals already. That happened today. But when you're watching this, maybe the Mavs are already in the finals. Oops. Um, Luca and Kyrie. Where do we rank them already? <sighs> already in well, this tier list here. They were saying it's the first 
duo to score both have over 30 points in like 40 years or so in the NBA playoffs in one game in one game nah because Kyrie and LeBron had a 40 each in game five or six mm. so it can't be that okay might be something, something. Might be averaging 30 each. No, no, no. No, well, I, I remember clearly, clearly. Kyrie or, and, uh, and um, Maxie and Embiid had games maybe recently. It's, maybe it's guards. Maybe it's guards. Yeah, maybe it's guards. Maybe it's the two guards. Yeah, backcourt. Two backcourt. Back yeah, that's, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's probably, what it is. Probably backcourt. Um, and then on top of that, I just think they're the most clutch team ever. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't give a damn. They're the most clutch team ever. Like whatever happens from here, well, mm. it'd be embarrassing. Ah. <laughs> but like that's what I was saying. Like with OKC, I just like yeah, OKC is a nice team, but Mavs just keep coming and coming, and I can't believe they're doing this to my Wolves. It's now my Wolves <laughs> from Heat to my Wolves. <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a Bulls theme going on here that I I, I missed the memo. <laughs> so um, yeah. It's just unbelievable. I just can't believe two ball hogs are working, but it makes sense. That's what they were doing with the Brunson thing. Mm. You know, give Luca a break, keep him fresh, and then in the fourth quarter, you chillax, you just shoot threes, try and be um, efficient. And, um, you know, when Luca passed you that rock, you just make it splash. Well, as long as one of the ball hogs is also a great playmaker, yeah. which Luca is. Mm-hmm. So I think that's all you need. Yeah. Um, in all these. You know, big duos. Have you seen enough rise to put him highly on this list? I've definitely... I I have seen enough. They've got two clutch closers. Not many teams have two clutch closers on the biggest moments. Um, They tend to share it. Kyrie Irving will hit some of the big shots and, you know, against the Clippers and stuff. And then they just take turns and it's scary because you can't guard it. Take turns. (laughs) You can't guard it. Both take turns, both accountable. Um, and Kyrie's playing defense. Let me ask you this: I think I don't think that they go in S. I'm we can't put him no, in there yet. No, I'm no, start, no, we no, cannot put him no. in S yet. I'm going to start off by saying I don't think that they go in S, but I think that they've actually got more talent. I think that Kyrie and Luca is more combined talent than Steph and Clay, because I think that um, Kyrie is. Quite a bit better than Clay. Way better than Clay. Not, Clay? Not, oh, yeah. not quite a bit. I thought you were going to say Stephen Curry. I know. I know your agenda. <clears throat> this is a good time to say it, actually. Yeah. I've been saying it all. <laughs> what, God, what, 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 you, is what, what, what is it? What is it again? I would rather choose Curry Irving in a playoff series than Stephen Curry. Wow. I like the way you worded it, though. Yeah. Because Kyrie's inconsistent. But when he's feeling it, he's feeling it. When he's feeling it, he's unstoppable. Yeah, like Steph no. is as well, but Kyrie, you know, I talking last week about, I don't have to keep bringing up Tatum, but the whole, some players have got their spots. Some players, they know how to beat you, even mm-hmm. if you know what they want to do. Mm-hmm. So Kyrie is like, oh, you think I'm right-handed? No, I'm left-handed. Yeah. No, I'm right-handed. No, I'm left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot from the free throw line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I <fly to laughs> my left. Oh, I just missed two free throws? Three. Yeah, but Stephen Curry has that in it too. Curry does have that. He, Curry is, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 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 I think Curry's that. better. It's just that Kyrie is the epitome of unpredictable. Yeah. And and so is Luke. Un, um, unschemable. It's like, how do we defend Kyrie? No idea. Yeah, no <laughs> idea, man. If he's feeling it, like if he's feeling it for four games in a row in the NBA Finals against the Celtics. Oh, it's over. For, that'll be a sweep. If Kyrie Irving, let alone Luka Doncic. I hope so. If Kyrie Irving is on one for four games in a row, then I'm a happy man because the thing about him is he's, he's a... He, he can be a little bit inconsistent. Can, he can, 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 he can, can, he can, he can, he can, he can, but that's what beautiful, that's what nullifies it. But it comes up when you need Luca him. is not inconsistent. Mm. He's feeling a lot better now. I know he's still but lingering. Even so, he's still not his best. Yeah. It, isn't that crazy? That's yeah, crazy. What we're watching right now, as we kept saying over the weeks, is, is a hobbled Luca. Even if he's working it out or managing it, he's just worked out how to, like, not be fast mm. and still be effective. And he wasn't even fast already. Yeah. So now he can even slow down his game to another level when he's fully healthy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So I hope that they win tomorrow and then we get the nine days off until the NBA finals and Luca gets even to another, you know, recovered level because he's the he and everyone else is beating the Wolves 
and he's not even fully healthy. Mm. He's truly, if you've watched Luca all these years, you can see he's actually still not capable of what he normally does. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, the knee, the whatever else is hurting him, mm. he actually is like, he doesn't have as many weapons as he usually does because he, I think he's limited. And he's still this good. Anyway. Where are we? Rise. Oh, I'll put him in A. Selection. A. I'll put him in A. Yeah, yeah. comfortably. We won't put him in S. We won't get ahead of no, us. No, no, no. That's of madness. Course. That's madness. Um, when do we start putting him in S? A is sufficient. I think two rings. One ring. All right, what? No, no. Not one ring. You can't put him in S after one ring. No way. I think two rings. Do it twice. Show me what's up. The only thing is that Kyrie's 32. Yeah, so make it. He could do it again. Thirty three. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what next year? Yeah. If they can stay top two in the West next season as well, maybe the following with that duo and win a ring, then oh, if everyone's good to go yeah. and healthy, Lively's twenty years old and he's already better than Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> he's Agendas. doing what Rudy does with the passing, like you said. But the skill set on Luke and Kyrie is. You, you feel like it hasn't ended. It hasn't reached its peak. No, yeah. And what we're talking about yeah. and... I honestly could put them... It doesn't feel right to put them in S, but I sort of could. No, nah, no. Nah. This is where I... I and I think that they're this, better yeah. than Manu and Tony Parker. This is my non-championship. I think they're better than everyone. <laughs> they actually... No, be, no, yeah. no. You can they are right James now. Harden, anyways. James Harden. Cool. Then the CP3, James Harden, man. Yeah, Forget know, then best shooters of all time together. I know we'll see. I know Steph uh, Clay doesn't have a bag. Maybe we're Steph a Curry bit. Has a bag. Maybe we're a bit in our Re yeah recent hesitations. No, I was gonna say maybe we're a bit holding back because of what we're seeing with Ant. Everyone in the NBA world <laughs> is a bit egg on their face right now because we're all like last week. I got. I'll take it back. Ant is twenty two years old, in fact, and it turns out that. He can't run out a whole um, 16 game, you know, four round playoff series. Um, so Ant is not as high as I thought he was because energy and fatigue is part of the playoffs and being the best, I guess. Maybe Luca and Kyrie lay an egg next next round against the Celtics. Who knows? It'll be correct. It'll be so disappointing. Oh, it'll be so sad. Because but it has to be. It has to be at least a seven game series for them to even them to. To maintain this A level, imagine yeah. if they just blow it away, like sweep. Then I start putting them See down. The real to floors, huh? Yeah. Mm. Um, can Kyrie Irving? Sorry, can Luka Doncic end up a better player all time than Stephen Curry? Oh, it's hard because Stephen Curry, you're known for a specialist. Mm. Luka is not that specialist kind of guy. Like he does everything. Yeah, he does everything. So you kind of got to pair him to LeBron. That's what some people say LeBron. I think he's like you know a better I mean? Harden. He's yeah, a he's bigger, a better, better Harden. What do you say that? Is I it be, so. is it is it better? Is it nice to say that? Because Harden, he's just he's just aging now. Mm. Harden's been doing that for ages. Mm. I think he he will be a better Harden. Like as in like when we reevaluate, yeah. I guess because James Harden really found himself after OKC. Yep. Mm. And then, you know what I mean? So he had... I was on the bench, took, I guess. So. Yeah, it took, it took some time, whereas Luca found it since like 22 years old. I think that Luca Doncic is already more clutch already oh, then than, Harden. No, oh. than Curry ever was. I'd Curry? Say, yeah. No, you're dumb. <laughs> Remember we did the top <laughs> Sorry, five clutch dumb. and I, I, mean, told, so and I, I told you, you Curry, Curry's not one of the most clutch players ever. Mm -hmm. He's He's like got something like the worst clutch shooting ever, Curry. And the turnovers at the end. Curry, um, Doncic is 24. Yeah, he doesn't. And he's doesn't already more away. clutch, I, I reckon. Yeah, but. I reckon Luca Def, I reckon he can end up a better all-time player than Curry. I don't really yeah, yeah, weigh yeah. in sort of championships. I We've seen it already. It's not a, regardless of who's around him or what shitty teams or mm -hmm. good teams are around him, already been to one conference finals mm. and then was beaten by the then champions, the Warriors. Um, he's about to go to another com uh, f another NBA Finals. He's 24, about to turn 25, whatever. I think he is very much, not exactly LeBron comps, but it's that sort of caliber. It's not that sort of caliber. That sort of, like, <laughs> it's like that sort of, wow. He's here. This guy is unbelievable. Um, and I think...
people started talking about the crown and all this sort of stuff. You know, crowning him if he wins the championship as the new best player in the NBA, all these sort of things. Mm. So we got him in A. They got him in A, pending. Pending. Pending could, choke. Could, could be S or could be well, pending choke. I don't think they, they can even go down to B. I no, think that they no. should be above A. Yeah, how about if they go? No, they can go down to B. Imagine if they choke against the Celtics, right? And then next year, it's like, oh, Kyrie's injured, blah, blah. What if it's like 4-1? That'd be pretty shit, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would suck. That's the thing. That would tarnish. It's, the ink is so wet. So, so wet. Would you, you got, he's doing the whole, like, you know. There's too much talent. <laughs> too much There's talent. too much talent. There's so yeah, much talent. The West is hard, man. Get rid of, get rid uh, of Kyrie's the injury period. Get rid of the get really no one's watching why, it. No, but that's that's the why I'm get vexed. They want to do the league expansion mm. to have more mediocre teams. You know the WM Dumb. just just side note, WNBA um Indiana team had more views than Indiana Pacers on the playoffs. Yeah, well it's Caitlin Clark. Still goaded. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But still. And do you guys see what I mean? Apart from the championship things, doesn't it seem a bit weird now looking at Manu and Tony Parker no. there? No? No. They could not history. carry anywhere near the way history. these guys go. No, history. All right. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. We're getting, Roll back time. We're getting flamed. All right. Uh, that's it for the um, this tier list. Let's quickly yep. get on to a couple of fun ones. Let's do it. Who has more NBA playoff stats? All right. Who has more playoff game-winning buzzer beaters? Michael Jordan or LeBron James? We've got MJ in the house today. <laughs> got a few MJs. I'm pretty sure I know a few. <laughs> <laughs> um, got to be LeBron James. I think Michael Jordan. Ooh. Because this is playoff related. Oh, but then my, LeBron always plays in the playoff. <laughs> 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 but yeah. Why don't you forever? <laughs> he plays forever. Oh, LeBron man. always plays in the playoffs. <laughs> shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the shit. That's the obvious thing ever. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> I mean, just... they both always play in the playoffs, no, but no, LeBron no, is no. the guy who always plays in yeah, the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. LeBron, like, MJ didn't play, play in the playoffs with the Wizards. Oh, I don't, I don't think yeah. he did. Yeah, so that's what. Yeah, volume. But anyway, MJ. MJ. LeBron. All right. Michael Jordan had three. Playoff game winning buzzer beaters. LeBron James had five. Uh, I don't know. What's the definition of buzzer beater? Let's <laughs> no, and I know that these ones are definitely buzzers. Yeah. No more time. As in buzzer went off. Not point yeah. one. Uh, game buzzers. winner buzzers. Oh, that's good. I'll be yeah. Jay Baby. The one against I, Dallas. I looked at the one. I've seen that live. Yeah. Um. And like the, he, uh, he had like two oh, in one series in one on recent Orlando times. Orlando too. Yep. That Orlando. Yeah. Yep. I watch that and one there, too. And there's also the two yeah, more recent ones. Um. Both in the same year. Against Indiana and Toronto, I okay. think it was twenty eighteen yeah. or seventeen. The Indiana, Toronto. wait, is that's when he caught it from the court, like the ninety degree three, think, turned around, yeah, and, and shot then shot the three. Yep. I think. Yep. And the Toronto one, he did the runner. Yep. He did the running and then just. Yep, I remember that. He was on the left side of yeah. the back. He was on the left side. Yeah. And sh- yep. He just. Yep. And then that the Raptors, was the, they were just that was when the Raptors were like Lamar was defeated. Yeah, they like, was so f- good. And yeah. like, I watched Lamar's interview on <laughs> podcast P talking about it. He's just like defeated. He pretty much that's why he moved after that. All right, next one. Who has more playoff personal fouls, Draymond Green mm-hmm. or PJ Tucker? Personal fouls. Yeah, not technical fouls. Personal fouls. Draymond Green. I go PJ Tucker. <laughs> I got your bad ear. Dr- uh, PJ Tucker three sixteen. Draymond Green five hundred and ninety three. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know why the NBA fouling me, uh, fighting me, man. I don't know. You've got why. a criminal on the court. I knew I'd try. I, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm. put Draymond. In. He's like in the top like ten or whatever. Everyone else, apart from LeBron, everyone else is like retired. Yeah. Draymond <laughs> Green is up there with all these guys that are retired, and he's still kicking. Literally, <laughs> still getting personal fouls. All right. Rise, yep. hit us. Let's go. All right. Who has more playoff minutes? Chris Paul or Draymond Green? Ooh. Ooh. That's a good Draymond one. Green. Chris Paul. Chris Paul with 5,442. 
Draymond Green with 5,446. <laughs> oh, Four fuck. more. That's so fucking close. Very close. Nah, that's Jeez. crazy. Very close. Those deep runs. Patriot, you take that one. Damn. Right. Who has the most playoff steals? Paul George or Kevin Durant? Paul George. Paul George. At 172, it's tied. Spanner. Oh. <laughs> Spanner huh? Spanner in the works. <laughs> no one's a loser there. Okay. All right. Bit of fun facts. Um, which team has won the most game sevens in the playoffs? The Boston Celtics or the Los Angeles Lakers? <laughs> the Lakers. Boston Celtics. One has won 27 game sevens. The other has won 16 game sevens. Boston Celtics with 27 games. Oh, you yeah. threw me off. Yeah. I know. You got me. It's part of it. Yeah. Oh. It's not a bad one, that one. But mm. we've both won the same amount of championships at 17. <laughs> this is why Boston can't win. <laughs> um, but we close our teams earlier. We don't let it get to game sevens, yeah? We don't do that oh, here. Here we go. The Lake Celtics in their 23rd finals appearance, I think I saw. 26, something like that. All right. Cheech, hit us. Who's had mo- who has had more points as a duo during the playoffs? Okay. Um, this is points per game. Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, Kobe and Shaq, or MJ and Pippen? Kobe and Shaq. Surely. That's what I'm going. Not LeBron and Dwayne Wade. So we have Kobe and Shaq. With 59.9 points per game in 16 games. We have MJ and Pippen with 54 points per game. And we have Wade and LeBron as 53 points per game. (sighs) They're the two, out of those ones, out of those duos, Kobe and Shaq are the two like most prominent scorers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't want to double back on your (laughs) answers. But I was like, it's a good one. If it goes in the paint, no one's guarding Shaq. Kobe has a ball all the time. Yeah. yeah, but it's like fifty nine to like fifty three. But then I was like LeBron, mm. twenty years. It's a, <laughs> it's a step, and that was back. That was back when scoring wasn't even yeah. proficient. That's that's Shaq for that's, you. That's um, man. It's a shame they broke up after yeah, one year, man. Um, which NBA superstar has been swept more? <laughs> we got three here. We have MJ, Kobe. Or Shaquille O'Neal. Oh. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Because he's been with the most teams and he delayed his, <laughs> the end of his career so much. We've got Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe tied at six. Oh. And MJ with three. Oh, okay. I was going to say. And, okay. Wow. And MJ's never been swept in a seven-game series. He's been swept when it was best of five. Oh, okay. So. Okay. There we go. More goat status for you. I can't lose in these shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Who's had more over 30 point games in a playoff game? Hmm. We have Stephen Curry, Giannis Adekumpo, or Shaquille O'Neal? Hmm. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Um, I'm going to cross out Giannis. Tell us Steph and Shaq. I'm going to go Shaq. What are you going? I want to go Giannis, but I don't think he's been around long enough. make me sound like a dickhead. Cross but him out. Because Giannis, he would have had the ball so many times and had 30 plus points. But Steph and Curry? Hmm. Shaq or Steph and Curry? I'm going to... No, go Giannis. Giannis? Fuck, this is a trick. No question. way it's Giannis. We have Stephen Curry at 58, Shaq at 55. No way. And Giannis at 33. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would get that with the ball, ball dominant. So Shaq had 55. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, Stephen Curry, 58. But just longevity. Yeah. 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 Giannis yeah. hasn't been in anywhere near as many playoff games as Steph. Yeah. I was just... So, Two Talk years of how no much playoff. Carries. <laughs> yeah, but two years of no playoff run for yeah, guys. Basically. Yeah, that's that's that as well. Oh, wow. um, all right, now, just quickly, Celtics are in the finals. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mavs are three zero up. Mavs are in the finals. 
Mavs are in the finals. No team has ever come back from 3 0. Oh, man. We won't oh, imagine that's me, it just. Miami, man. We won't really start <laughs> talking happens? about it now. What, what if it happens? The Timberwolves come back. No chance. Yeah. But well, what if? <laughs> well, then it'd be insane. And okay. we'll have something to talk about next week because right now we've got nothing to talk about next week. Um, but we'll talk about that next week. We'll talk about the finals preview next week. So we won't sort of talk about it yet. However, um, what are we, uh, any reactions to the way that these conference finals went? Well, I just, as I said, most clutch team of all time. Um, Disappointing in Cat and Ant? No, because I knew. You guys put them too high on the duo list. Um, but you, I was... You, hold, hold up! <laughs> no, 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 no. You <laughs> put money on them to win the championship. <laughs> yeah, I know. None of us did. I also put Nuggets money on. <laughs> and I also put the, uh, the Mavs on. <laughs> You're coming at yeah, us. No, you no, said I the money. Timberwolves have got it. I put five bucks. I put five bucks. That's nothing. I put five bucks on Mavs. I put five, oh, sorry. I put five you bucks put on the Nuggets. money on the Mavs now that they're up. I put, <laughs> I put five bucks on uh, Nuggets. I put five bucks on Mavs, man. And, uh, you know, just, you know, I said, oh, let me spread out the money. I put 20 bucks on Mavs. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, I'll put 40 bucks on Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... <laughs> But um, no, like, what surprised me was he saw the wall mm. and it was like, what the hell? And the whole oxygen thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the hell? You don't normally get done by fatigue in terms of like the whole, oh, too young, too young. They're normally just making dumb moves. They're just making dumb moves. Um, now, this is, this is how terrible we are as the media. I'm thinking back to the the Popeyes, the junk food, the old days of the Timberwolves. Is can is is can't is cat is ant, <laughs> both of them. But is 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 cat is ant. Is he is he not fit enough for four rounds of playoffs? Because yeah, okay, guarding Kyrie is tough, but that's it's still a basketball game. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're a peak athlete, right? Like he was just shredding up. The Nuggets and the Suns. Brain fatigue. What? What? No, nah, it's not brain fatigue. He's getting. He's, he's getting, getting oxygen, done. man. Oh well, yeah. He's getting. Yeah, well. He's getting done. He's, he's like he's fast. slow. And he, he's, he's and he's like on his haunches. He's like hating Harry's that he has fast, to run back man. on defense. Like this is normal. Did you say the his defense that led to that PJ Washington throw? Did you say the clip? And defense. And defense. So they're playing defense. Let's say this is the three. Mm. Ant's playing here on Kyrie. PJ's in the corner. You got Luca here. Luca passes as he's passing the. Oh no! As he's like creating whatever mess here, Anthony Edwards just slides into the paint with uh, his back turned. Luca passes it here to Kyrie's man. I don't think Anthony Edwards even turned around in time. Wow. Luca dish it to PJ, so it's just all open. Kyrie had it open. Mm. PJ had it open, and even the coach said he's like. Um, the defensive player that broke down and pretty much, you know, after that shot, they were yeah. up by three. Then all of a sudden, that Scramble. was almost a turning point of like, so it's big. Damn, yeah. Matters. Well, I jumped the gun. He's he's not. He's, yeah, you can't rank him above some of the other guys now. But damn, it looked like damn. we were gonna get the. You don't normally get it. All it normally happens around twenty seven, twenty eight. Yeah, which Luke up may break. But um, and Luca, it was looking like Luca was going to break it two years ago mm, at the same time. Like, that's right. When he killed the I mean? Clippers, and, and he he wasn't tired. We thought that was going to happen. The Warriors are just better. He was what 23, 22? Luca oh, as yeah, well. Yeah, I think two years ago, so it yeah. would have been two, he, 20, 22. When he beat the 23. Clippers and then fell short, obviously. But um, I, I had probably the same run. Yeah, and so, we'll be back in three years. Yep. But yeah, no, crazy, just just crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Um, I'm still scared though. We talked about this last week, and we'll preview it next week, but the Mavs can, I feel like they can just play shit, and I hope it doesn't come next round. Mm. Because of the time off, the timing might be off a little bit Mm. here and there, because they got everything down to it. Just got to hope that, I mean, from the Celtics as well, as much as I don't want them to win, hope that we get everyone's best shot. Well, yep. you know, Celtics have a slow start as well. Like mm. what we've been seeing with this pace is kind of thing. 
Um, and but then both come back at the same time. The so. whole that's right. But then the whole like Porzingis hasn't been in. Is he? It sounds like he'll be in. Yeah, at yeah. the start of the finals, because they were having like talking about he might be in for today, maybe. So is Porzingis going to be in? Maybe Lucas feeling a little bit better. I just hope we get everyone's best shot um, in the NBA finals, and the Mavs don't lay an egg and whatever. Mm. But crazy, the Mavs. The Mavs from from fifth, yes. from fifth to well, the NBA Finals. People had him, but I was still skeptical. I just don't understand how two ball hogs can work. I keep repeating it. <laughs> well, it's it, it's but. as I said. So Luke is a great creator, yeah, and all their role players, which is know going to role. have to be the recipe in the the NBA moving forward of the whole second apron thing. Teams like the Nuggets. Teams that are going to win the championship or be the best or whatever are often going to, we're going to see moving forward, are going to be the teams that have their stars, but their GM hit on the role players. Like PJ Washington, Gafford, drafting lively, lively. Derek Jones Jr. And even to a lesser extent, like um, Dante Exum, Josh Green and um, Jaden Hardy. Mm. Hit, 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 hit. They're all hits. They're all, that's insane. Um, and the Celtics are like sort of that that sort of team is sort of going to get it phased out. They they're technically like a super team, the Celtics. Oh yeah, they are. And that's going to get phased out because it's too expensive. Yep. Even the Timberwolves are going to be too expensive this yeah. up, coming off season. So the Mavs are just out of nowhere. PJ Washington and all these mm. guys. What a, what a trade deadline they had, and what a, but not just that. What a pickup of um, Jones Junior. Before the season, the drafting of Lively, the tanking. Last year when they tanked and didn't even finish 10th, they tanked, finished 11th, went in the lottery, drafted yep. Lively. And from one of the most untrusted defences to probably one the, of the best, best defences in the league right now, it's and some, something's turned. Jason Kidd. Who? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, not he got a, shot on. Not known no, for a great coach. No, not, not known as a great coach. <laughs> Yeah, the when you got Luca, and you're getting <laughs> from, carried from being a meme to you know almost be having a ring. Mm. But he's got to still like coaches in this situation Execute. still have to like oh put the X's and O's yeah, put and put everything yeah, yeah, in the yeah. right place. They still got a coach. Every, all their players are That's doing right. so well. He's got to motivate them, and he's got to put everything in its exact right you know, place. The X the right out. Mm. The X Laker is the X Factor. X Laker, Mr. Jared Dudley. <laughs> Wow, on the X Factor. And Jason Kidd won a championship won a ring. as assistant coach of the Lakers yeah, as well. They won the rings. So if Jason Kidd wins the ring this year, he'll go back to LeBron. Giannis. Yeah. Giannis. I, don't know, I was thinking about the Giannis yeah, thing. Yeah, the Giannis narrative. Hey, does Grant Williams but get a ring? Won one. Did they give him one? They hated Grant him. Williams. The whole Dallas Mavericks hated Grant Williams. I don't know. Maybe he does if the rules still like that. He played for I them this year. I think they can choose. I feel yeah. like they can choose whether... So wait, what happened? Grant Williams was with the Mavs this year. And then they traded him for so PJ Washington. they win a ring, realistically, he is... is some, that, but when that's what happens. Really? They, even like, if they're traded... It, it definitely used to happen. I don't know if they changed it. But I don't I don't think like they I have changed it. No. Nah. Really? I know it's like, like if you're um, injured. In but. one of the years... Um, Anderson or whatever, Virgil. Yeah, Virgil. He Cavs. played for Warriors and Cavs in the same year. They met in the finals. He was a gu- <laughs> Yeah, it was a guaranteed ring. He had a guaranteed ring. <laughs> and I think he was on the Warriors. And that I think it was 2016, because he's like he was on the Warriors and he he's like, I want the I'm getting a ring, but I want the Warriors to win. I'm on the Warriors. Yeah. But then when the Cavs won, he got a ring. Mm. He did get a week. Mm. <laughs> so it looks like. <laughs> and crazy. they all hated Grant Williams. I wonder if he's like mm. shouting for one. Yeah. If, if they win. All right. Well, NBA Finals coming up. Keen. In a while, but next week we'll preview it next week. Thanks, boys. Edwards Thanks, versus man. Tatum. <laughs> Edwards versus Tatum. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you next week.